we're gonna answer a tag from love to wander the five things you don't know about us so stay tuned for that <music> So our friends over at Love to Wander tagged us in the five things you don't know about us. Uh, is it a challenge? Just a tag? I don't know. Okay, so five things you don't know about us. By the way, there is going to be a link in the description to Love to Wander's channel. Know, first thing I guess you don't know about us is there's an age difference here. A big one. Christina is 10 years younger than I am. It doesn't really seem like much of an age difference. I mean, she's a lot more mature than I am, so. <laughs> <laughs> Old soul. <laughs> we were introduced by her sister, Tracy, who was my roommate at the time. It's never really been a big factor, has it? No. Every now and then we'll be talking about something like a movie or something, and she wasn't even born yet. Oh, we were watching Chernobyl. Yes. Yes, and uh, that happened in... 86. 86 yeah Christina wasn't even born yet I was in like the third or fourth grade <laughs> but uh or songs certain songs come on the radio and I'll be like yeah this is my jam in high school and I'll <laughs> oh. say um I was listening to this when I was in Iraq uh another thing you don't know about us uh we are a blended family we are I had Lisi when uh Christina and I started dating she was two weeks old actually when we started dating and uh, James was about what eight months about that yeah it's never really been a big deal we don't talk about stepbrothers or stepsisters or half brothers or half sisters they're, they're brothers and sisters <laughs> that's the way we've always raised them to be so yeah I guess we don't typically think of ourselves that way and it's funny because James is really small and <laughs> when they were babies they were about the same size <laughs> yeah. And everybody used to ask me if they were twins when I was shopping with them. <laughs> okay, here's one you don't know. Or some of you don't know. Some of you do know this. Some of you don't. My name's not Marty. <laughs> uh, Marty is a nickname. I got that one in the Army. It's typical in the Army to uh, shorten people's names, change their names up. I got Marty in basic training. Uh, my last name is actually Martinez. So for any confusion, people who have heard me called Tony, that is my actual first name, Anthony. I answer to both, I've always answered to both. Most of my military buddies still call me Marty. My civilian friends have always called me Tony. When, uh, when we first came up with the channel, I was kind of hesitant to use real names. Uh, I don't know why, it just was, I guess. So I picked Marty. <laughs> Marty's crew was never meant to be a permanent name. <laughs> it was never meant to be a channel, really. A, yeah, a, really. A it was... YouTube channel, but if you've read the About Me section, you know that. <laughs> yeah, we really just started the channel to preserve our memories and have a way to share them with our families and everything. And you can keep calling me Marty, you can keep calling me Tony, I don't care. I'll answer to both of them. <laughs> uh, while Christina clears this web, I'm going to say uh, another thing you guys don't know about us is that we are not actually from Kansas. As in, we weren't born in Kansas. Christina will tell you she's from Kansas because she grew up here. <laughs> I was an army brat. Yes. So. We were both actually, I guess, technically army brats because both my parents were in the army. Her dad was in the army. I was born at Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas. But because my parents got out of the army there, I grew up in San Diego, California. I say San Diego, I mean San Diego County. When you're from San Diego, you could be anywhere in a hundred mile radius from there and you're from San Diego because nobody else knows what the little towns are. <laughs> but I grew up in a little town called Lakeside, California. Uh, Christina was born. In Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Was your dad stationed at Fort Knox then? Yes. Yeah. I was a special baby though, so I had to be born in a special hospital. Ah. Oh, yeah, I wonder where that goes. To more spiders. <laughs> and then we were stationed in Germany for a little bit. Yeah. Well, my dad was in Desert Storm. And then once we got stationed here in Kansas, my dad got out of the military. Now he's from Kansas. He is. He's from Wichita. 
which is one thing my father-in-law has in common with Lisi. She was born in Wichita also. All the kids are actually born in Kansas. I think my dad and I have talked about this. Mm -hmm. And I believe that Alicia and my dad were actually born in the same hospital. I've lived in Kansas since I got stationed here in 2004. That's what, 14, 15 years now? 15 years. Yeah, I've almost lived here long enough to cuss, say I'm from Kansas. <laughs> Not that he wants to be from Kansas. Uh, you know what? <laughs> when I first moved here and for almost, until we started doing all the hiking stuff, I hated living in Kansas. Uh, of course, growing up in Southern California, you got everything. You've got the ocean to the west from where we lived. Uh, we were right in the foothills of the mountains where I grew up. So we had the mountains. We had ton, tons of state parks and, uh, and local parks to hike and camp at. If you wanted to go south, you could go to Mexico, and L.A. was just north. We used to go to Disneyland every summer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so when I first moved here, I thought, oh, there is nothing if you're not a hunter or a fisher. Nothing against hunting or fishing. Uh, I'm just not good at fishing, and I've actually never been hunting. But since we started doing this, I've really fallen in love with Kansas. Uh, still miss home, but... It is what it is. This is home now. I guess I'm from Kansas. You're from Kansas. Still a diehard Chargers fan, even though they're not in San Diego anymore either. I'm gonna turn it off before I start cutting. <laughs> Last thing you don't know about us. Okay, you guys have met the crew. You guys have met the extended crews from California and from Texas. If you haven't, check out our New Mexico and Colorado adventures. What you didn't know is that the Kansas crew is actually five deeper and what we got mm -hmm. we have five pets in our house all cats because uh, somehow i managed to marry a crazy cat lady <laughs> there's sidewinder that's our oldest cat she's she's actually only a couple months younger than william so she she's 11. 11 years old right now 11 years old bell and ariel the twins mm -hmm. they're about seven about seven there's loki he's Three? He's yeah, three. About he three. followed the kids home from the bus stop. Yeah. And yeah. purred the whole time I bathed him and I couldn't keep couldn't say no. Yeah, I came home and all of a sudden there was this little orange kitty, which is what Loki is short for. I prefer to think of it as the Marvel character, but uh, <laughs> just stand and follow me through the living room. I was just like, what's his name? <laughs> I couldn't even fight it. Now he's quite the big orange kitty. He is the biggest mm -hmm. of our cats. And that leaves our newest addition, newest crew addition. Uh, Christina works at a veterinary, veterinary clinic. And one day at work, I get a picture of a little white kitten mm -hmm. in her smock pocket. Yes. That is Prudence. Or Prue, as I like to call her. And she is a feisty little brat. She, she? is... <laughs> the feistiest cat we've had yeah ever. she she tries to pick stuff with everybody <laughs> but yeah that's that's our extended crew there that's the the five kitties yes crazy cat lady yeah we got the the crew kids <laughs> and the crew kitties well that's it that's uh five things you don't know about us um i guess now we have to tag a couple channels first thanks thanks to love to wander for tagging us this was fun this is something we've been kind of wanting to do for a while their link's going to be in the, in the description. Check their channel out. They're awesome. Uh, they do some great hikes and some great camping trips. The first channel we're going to ta tag is going to be uh, Sawyer in the Middle. They're a family channel like ours. They're doing kind of the same thing we do. Go out on family adventures, get their kids out. They've got some great videos. I love them. They're, those those guys are all about getting out and getting outdoors and having some fun. Uh, another channel that uh, I'd like to uh, tag. And these guys are re very, very brand new YouTubers. I think last I checked, they only have two subscribers. I'm one of them. That's Ad Astra Through Adventure. These guys got a special place in my heart because they uh, um, they started their channel, uh, they said uh, basically because they were watching ours. Uh, they started getting their kids out. Um, their link's gonna be in the description. They've gone to a few places that we have uh, and they've gone to a place, a few places that we want to go to that we haven't. They're up in the Topeka area. They're here in Kansas as well. Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet up with them sometime. They've got 
four great kids also and uh, yeah yeah check them out give them some support they're brand new uh, and I wish them all the best they're doing great things last channel we're gonna tag is Pruitt hiking adventures they're uh, another family channel that goes on hikes like us and uh, they've got some great adventures going themselves so check them out check out all three channels their links will be in the description you guys have been tagged five things we don't know about you and with that we're gonna continue hiking we got a couple more short trails that we wanted to hit so if you like the video leave a like leave a comment we always appreciate your comments get outside adventure with your kids if you don't have kids do like me and Christina get out with your wife if you just want to go out solo get outside get off your electronics have fun the world's full of adventure until next time we'll catch you on the next one Peace.